Hello, Barbara here. Today's topic, PCOS. That's Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. Now, if you have inadvertently tapped onto this video, please stay tuned for the couple minutes it'll take to get to the symptoms because it's an epidemic and maybe you have a loved one, a friend, or a family member who's got the symptoms and you could end up helping. Now, first I want to tell you PCOS occurs when a woman fails to ovulate. Her follicle doesn't release an egg and becomes a cyst, which is a fluid-filled sac. She makes no progesterone. The brain senses no progesterone and stimulates the ovary to make more estrogen, more testosterone, more DHEA in order to stimulate more follicles so she'll ovulate. But time after time after time, it doesn't happen and the woman now has multiple cysts. These are fluid and hormone filled follicles on the ovaries. And if you saw them on ultrasound, they look like a string of pearls. So what can we do? Well, first of all, let me tell you, when the follicles are not uh, producing uh, the egg and no egg pops, the woman's menstrual cycle is dominated by those androgens and estrogen, and they can be bullies. So now you've got a high luteinizing hormone and a low follicular stimulating hormone, which is the hormone that stimulates a production of an egg. And high levels of testosterone give these women male-like characteristics. So they get facial hair and the other symptoms I'm going to tell you about. It also interferes with insulin production and interferes with glucose metabolism. So now they have insulin resistance and now they gain weight. And weight gain is something that no young girl wants to have, especially unexpectedly. And now the symptoms of PCOS, irregular or skipped cycles, craving sugar, weight gain, especially around the waist, or obesity, increased in facial hair. I've heard of girls who are had to start shaving at age 15. That's a definite symptom of PCOS elevated blood pressure, acne, and the tragic one we've discussed, infertility, and male pattern baldness. Is your hair starting to fall out and you're very young? That can be PCOS. Also, an increase in triglycerides. Now, doctors may not recognize this constellation of symptoms, which is called PCOS. So you've got to kind of tune them in and say, Doc, this is what's happening. And here are some of the factors that contribute to it. Very stressful um, uh, times, uh, irregular periods, high cortisol levels, which means high stress, poor nutrition. Girls are eating too much sugar and refined carbs. Birth control pills. They shut down the normal function of the ovaries. People don't know this. They think, oh, it's just a little pill that's going to stop me from getting pregnant. It's shutting down your ovaries, and that can lead to PCOS. There can be a genetic component, but you can override this. Now, what can be done? Most importantly, enhance your hormone balance. Now, if a doctor does diagnose you with PCOS, you might be given drugs. First of all, birth control to shut down the ovaries so that you don't make the androgens. I don't want that for you. Natural progesterone suppresses the luteinizing hormone and therefore the ovarian cysts are not stimulated and they can shrink with several menstrual cycles. And if your body is not producing enough progesterone, give it some progesterone. That'll help maintain a normal monthly menstrual cycle pattern. If progesterone levels increase each month when they're supposed to during the luteal phase, the normal rhythm will be maintained and the body will begin to cycle on its own and decrease the presence of those cysts. Now, I've done extensive research on this and I have attended a seminar with a very um, prestigious doctor in Texas and she gave me her protocols and this is what she said. If you have PCOS or the symptoms of PCOS from day one through 10, you're going to take 20 milligrams of progesterone at bedtime. So that's day one through 10 of your cycle. You're taking 20 milligrams of progesterone from day 11 
until whenever your period starts. You're going to do 40 milligrams at bedtime, but you're going to use a different site. So if you were using your top of your breast, now you're going to use your face. If you're using your wrist, now you're going to use the face or the top of the breast. So if you've skipped periods for months, progesterone can help. You don't need Provera. Doctors love to give Provera, but please use micronized progesterone because Provera is a synthetic and can actually uh, contribute to breast cancer. And a lot of you have been put on metformin, which is one of the drugs that helps with insulin resistance. If you don't want to use metformin, you can use chromium picolinate, 400 mcgs, three times per day. That can lower those insulin levels. And B-complex vitamins are great and vitamin E. In addition to your progesterone cream, you can decrease PCOS through healthy nutrition and decreasing stress. And this helps bring your body back to normal hormone balance. And you go, Barbara, we're so sick of hearing about diets. How can a diet help PCOS? Well, if you're using progesterone, addressing the weight is crucial because the weight gain is equals the storage of the upper body fat which stimulates higher levels of the male hormones, disrupts your other hormones, and leads to worse insulin resistance. So this causes the body to produce even more insulin and creates a cycle that will not lead to your healing. If you need help with a low insulin spiking diet, I do have a book called uh, Eat Yourself Slender, but just cut out the bread and cut out the sugar and you're going to do so much better. A lot of young girls are eating too much of those things, and these foods cause your levels to become abnormal. The insulin stimulates the androgens, and that causes the symptoms of PCOS. You need to do both. Cut down on the sugar, use the progesterone cream. I've spoken to many women who have PCOS and heard of heartbreaking stories of struggle, and mostly their weight gain, infertility, those are the two that bother the young girls. And there's been much success with natural progesterone. And I want you to hear some of these testimonials. Barbara, I'm not gaining any more weight. I've lost weight for the first time in years. My abdomen is no longer bloated. I finally stopped craving sugar. My periods are regular. These are all different women calling, by the way. My facial hair is going away. Well, hallelujah. Thank you, God, my chronic acne has cleared up. If you have PCOS, or you think you do, or you think someone you love does, I hope you take heart in realizing there are things you can do that relieve symptoms naturally without drugs. I have the PCOS handout. Actually, I even have more than this. I have a four-pager. Call me. If you have questions, call me. I want you to be able to have a normal menstrual cycle, not have those cysts in your ovaries, and have better health naturally. Call me if you need more help.